What's going on? I'm FPL Inzaghi and welcome to my transfer plans video for Double Game Week 25. As always, if you enjoy the content, hit that like button. Let's aim for 100 likes on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in becoming a member, there's a link in the description as well. You get access to some exclusive perks. So go and check that out if you're interested. Very quickly, Let's look back at how I went in a game week 24. There's still one game to come. I am recording this before the Chelsea Crystal Palace game. I do have Cole Palmer left in that match. I'm on 78 points as things stand. It's been a good game week. I'm up to 95,000 in the world. So I'm inside the top 100K. Uh, the last three or four game weeks, I've been getting inside the top 100K. And then come the last game, I seem to kind of fall behind and drop out of the top 100K. So... It's nice to be there now, and I'm pretty confident I should stay there. Cole Palmer is about 85 to 90% owned, so I'm not going to gain much from having him in my team, but I shouldn't drop too much uh, with the Chelsea Crystal Palace game because I don't think the likes of Sterling uh, and Gusto, Chelsea defenders, I don't think those players are too highly owned. Shall we? So we should be on for a decent green arrow this week. Now, I will talk more about my uh, team from Gamut24 in my team selection video, but very quickly, I'm so glad that I got the Kyle Walker benching news pre-deadline because I swapped in, if you watch my deadline stream, I swapped in Saliba for Kyle Walker. I was very tempted to uh, sell Trippier for Trent for a minus four. That would have been an absolute nightmare. So I'm very glad I didn't do that. One thing that I am frustrated though, is that I have benched Douglas Louise's 10 points. I played him last week when he scored five, but I benched Foden when he scored 20. So I just can't seem to get the Foden, Douglas Louise benching rotation right. But we'll take it 78 points inside the top 100K. Uh, and if we go across to my team for double game week 25, I've got Raya in goals against Burnley, the double Arsenal defense with Saliba. Now, Burnley are so poor at defending set pieces. If you've got Gabriel or if you've got Saliba, I would definitely play them this week. Uh, Trippier at home to Bournemouth is a good fixture, even though Newcastle defensively have not been strong recently. I think playing at St. James's Park is a bonus for them, and Kieran Trippier has that attacking potential as well. Kyle Walker, I am predicting him to start both games in the double game week. He was, of course, benched uh, against Everton, missed out on the clean sheet, which was a shame. Uh, but if you remember back to the Chelsea game where City had a 4-4 draw, in that match, Jeremy Doku was removed. And I think there was another substitution that Pep made around the 70th minute mark because he wanted to regain control of the match. He brought Kovacic on and he also brought Jack Grealish on. So what I think will happen in that game is we won't see the likes of De Bruyne, Alvarez, Foden, Haaland, all playing together. All of those attackers that Pep played with against Brentford, for example, and even against Everton, I don't think we'll see that. I think we'll see one of the attackers drop out, most likely Alvarez, and I think we'll see someone alongside Rodri in that center of defensive midfield. So I think that will either be John Stones or that could be Kovacic, just kind of sitting in there alongside Rodri for greater control against Chelsea. Pep does not want another 4-4 result. So I think Kyle Walker will play then. Uh, and looking ahead to the Brentford game, noting that Brentford do play a five at the back, I think that suits having someone like Kyle Walker provide the width uh, on that right-hand side. So I'm expecting Kyle Walker to play both games, even though he has been a rotation risk in recent weeks. Richarlison, Saka, Foden, and Douglas Louise in midfield, and then Watkins, Haaland, and Darwin Nunes up front. I've got the triple captain active. I think this is the best week to triple captain. You can make an argument to triple captain Solanke in game week 28 when he has Sheffield United and Luton at home. Those two fixtures are great on paper, but we know going into this week, as things stand, that Haaland is fit. Imagine if you didn't play your triple captain this week and you waited till game week 28 and we got to game week 28 and Solanke's injured, uh, maybe suspended or whatever might have taken place between now and then, and there's not really too many other good weeks to play the triple captaincy. So I'm just going to play it this week if Haaland's fit on him at home to Chelsea and Brentford. Looking at my team, uh, I think it's a pretty well set up team. I've only got one free transfer. I've got 2.4 million in the bank. I could sell one of my defenders for Virgil van Dijk, but I like the fixtures for Trippier and for Saliba this week. 
I don't know if Van Dyke is worth the transfer when I've got Trippier and Saliba, both with good fixtures. The one kind of weak link here is potentially, potentially uh, Douglas Louise away against Fulham. I don't want to sell him, but I think what I'm going to do uh, is with Cole Palmer, he blanks in game week 26, so no fixture in 26, and he's very likely to blank in game week 29 as well, and in game week 25, he's got Manchester City away. So if I'm set up like this, the one kind of weak link here is Cole Palmer, and with 2.4 million in the bank, I don't have enough money to go straight from Palmer to Jota. I think if I had the funds, that's exactly what I would do. The news on Salah is that Klopp is hopeful he can take part in some parts of team training. So I don't think Salah starts uh, the match in uh, against Brentford. That's the first of the double. I don't think Salah starts that. I think we might see him get some minutes against Luton in 25. And that obviously has an effect on the likes of uh, Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota and potentially Darwin. But it's not enough to put me off buying another one of the Liverpool attackers. So if I had the money, I would be going for Diogo Jota, but I'm 0.2 short of that. So I think what I'll be doing is selling Cole Palmer for uh, Luis Diaz from Liverpool. He's gone up to 7.5 million in price. I saw that price rise coming and I just let it go through to the keeper because I've still got 0.5 in the bank to make that transfer. And I think if I was to bring Luis Diaz into the team, we go across to fpl.team, uh, make that transfer, uh, bring Luis Diaz in. That gives me uh, one <clears throat> in Kyle Walker, um, two in Foden, three in Diaz, four in Haaland, five in Darwin. Five double game week players for double game week 25. Now, there is a temptation even still to go for Virgil van Dijk. And if I was to undo that transfer of Luis Diaz, I could sell Trippier for van Dijk. And then that gives me enough money to go from Palmer to Diogo Jota for a minus four. So that's very tempting as well. But I want to talk to you about the issue with that transfer. And this should help you. If you've got Trent in your team and you're looking at selling Trent for a minus four for van Dijk, you're going to run into the same issue as what I'm about to demonstrate to you. So <clears throat> let's say that you brought Van Dyke in for a minus four. You go across to game week 26. Van Dyke's not playing and you've taken a minus four to bring him in. And if we put him on the bench, put Jota on the bench, we're hoping that Charlie Taylor is fit. If we make those moves, I've still only got nine players counting Charlie Taylor in game week 26, and I've taken a hit for Virgil van Dijk. So what I would need to do is to take another hit in game week 26 to field 11 players. So I think if you're taking a hit to sell Trent, and it forces you into another hit in game week 26 because you don't have enough players, I think that I would just leave Trent on the bench or potentially <clears throat> only sell Trent as your one and only transfer this week. I don't think it's worthwhile selling Trent for a hit to make another hit in game week 26. So if we just go back um, to game week 25 and we reset the game week here, I think I'm very likely to just do Palmer to Luis Diaz. I'd love Jota, I'd love Van Dijk, but I just don't think it works for my team. So I've got five double game week players. I play the triple captain. We go across to game week 26. And in game week 26, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I can make a one free transfer and I can have 11 players. So in game week 26, I can make one free transfer. Now, I don't know who I will be targeting in game week 26. I'll probably sell Luis Diaz in midfield. And the reason for that is because if I sell one of my Tottenham players, they will play in 29. So I'm losing a player who plays in 29, whereas Liverpool don't play in game week 29. So I'll probably sell Luis Diaz or Darwin Nunes. And if we go down to the fixtures here, in game week 26, I'll want to buy someone who has a good fixture in 26, but someone who also plays in game week 30. So having a look at those candidates, Arsenal's out. Aston Villa, I've only got two players from Aston Villa, Douglas Louise and Ollie Watkins, but I don't know 
which other Aston Villa player I would want. Alex Moreno is tempting, but with Luca Dean back in the team now, I'm not sure that I'll go there. Bournemouth, they've got City at home in 26. I think I will have Solanke, but probably from game week 27. They don't have a fixture in 29 as things stand. So they're not a team that I'm looking to bring a player in for for 26. Brentford's an option. Uh, West Ham and Burnley. I could potentially go for Ivan Tony, Darwin to Tony. That's not a bad move. Brighton, they don't have a fixture in 29. We've only really looking at Burnley, Fulham, Luton, Blank in 26. So they're out. Nottingham Forest, Spurs, and West Ham. What I am thinking about, and it's kind of left field, is because I'm likely to wildcard in either 27 or 31, I'm thinking 31, I've really liked the way that um, West Ham have lined up recently. Now, you can't see that too well on here, <clears throat> but James Ward-Prowse has been playing as the number 10 for West Ham in recent weeks with Thomas Suchek and Edson Alvarez behind him. So... For a few fixtures against Brentford, Everton, Burnley, and then Villa in 29, I'm tempted by James Ward-Prowse. So let's say I was to get him in for one free transfer in game week 26. I haven't had to take a hit, and it gives me 11 players for game week 26. We move into game week 27. There's a lot of good fixtures for my team. Uh, I can um, bench Charlie Taylor. I could sell Foden, potentially. Uh, I could sell Darwin Nunes for Solanke, noting that Solanke's got a really nice run of fixtures with Burnley, Sheffield United, and Luton in the double. Uh, and I could start preparing for double game week 28. All of my transfers between 26 and 29 will be on players who have a fixture in 29 or Bournemouth for their double game week in 28. So I really need to use my transfers wisely so I can navigate through game week 29 without having to take too many hits and preserving the free hit. So those are my transfer plans this week. I'm very likely to just do Cole Palmer to Luis Diaz. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens with the Champions League midweek, but very likely to do Cole Palmer to Luis Diaz and not spend a minus four on a player who might double this week but does not have a fixture next week because that minus four very quickly becomes a minus eight. Let me know in the comment section below what transfers you're looking to make for, the, for this week and how many double game week players do you have? I think I'm on the low side with just five, but I'm hoping the fact that I haven't had to take a hit and I won't have to take a hit next week should mean that despite only having five double game week players, uh, I should be able to navigate through these next couple of weeks and hopefully get some green arrows. And when you're counting your double game week plays, make sure you let me know how many of them play for Luton because I'm not sure they really count. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll be back later in the week with a game week preview video and my team selection as well as a deadline stream. So keep an eye out for that. Hit like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.